Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here. A little bit late. Sorry for the uh, late update. Uh, but uh, it is uh, Saturday night. Well, actually, early Sunday morning now, August 20th, 2023. About 12, 13 a.m. California time here. Uh, latest activity here. Looks like some movement south of the border in the Baja California area with a 3.1 coming in to the area. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest information here. Uh, with regards to, uh, well, you know, Hillary, right? Let's go over here to the National Hurricane Center and uh, see what's going on. Stand by here for just a second. I apologize for the late update. Just got a lot going on here on this end of the uh, of the uh, movie, so to speak. All right, latest informational statement here from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, still shows that it is a... Uh, Hurricane, it is weakening very quickly with maximum sustained winds here of about 85, 85 miles per hour right now. Uh, so things are dropping pretty quickly uh, with this hurricane, but it is expected to remain a tropical storm as it enters into the Southern California area come Sunday, well, today, later today, uh, at 6 p.m. So rapidly. Uh, developing uh, at a fast speed up here. Look, notice the uh, the movement has kicked up pretty drastically, 20 miles per hour towards the north northwest. The latest information here uh, with regards to uh, currently Hurricane Hillary. Hillary, um, not for sure exactly when it's going to drop down. I think it's going to drop down a little bit sooner here because we are uh, running into some uh, well, we're running into some issues here with that hurricane. Uh, not only the cooler waters here off the coast of California, but also landmass here, Baja California, affecting some of the activity there uh, with regards to Hurricane Hillary. Again, the latest information statement here looks like about 5 o'clock. Should be still within the Category 1 hurricane just off the coast of Baja California. 5 in the morning here, so we're just looking at about 4 hours or so, 5 hours and then drastically weakening as it uh, approaches Southern California. Again, 5 p.m. later today as a tropical storm with estimated winds between 39 to 73 miles per hour in the Southern California area. Again, uh, these guys are showing 75 mile per hour uh, sustained winds with gusts up to about 100. But uh, goodness, this thing is getting shredded as we speak. Uh, let's make sure we got the latest informational satellite out here. As you can see, it is approaching the Baja California area right now. That's the area of circulation. So not only are we dealing with the land mass issue here, uh, which is uh, no longer feeding the hurricane, right? You know, land mass is not going to feed the hurricane. You need that warmer water. Also, the cooler water is off the coast here, not helping it whatsoever either. So this thing is uh, struggling. You know, um, I can't say RIP, rest in peace, Hillary, because it's not there yet. It's still at a hurricane status. And, of course, it will try to hold on for its life as it goes through Southern California and up north into Nevada. Now, the latest uh, activity here far as the, um, the warnings go, as we can see listed up on the map, there's still a tropical storm warning across a good portion of Southern California. This is the latest informational statement there at 12 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, this gets updated about every three hours or so. But uh, things are drastically declining uh, with regards to Hillary. Let's go ahead and check out the latest tropical tidbits here uh, with regards to the uh, track of um, Hurricane Hillary. Western United States, this is a GFS model showing the uh, path here still consistent with a southern california landfall uh, there a little bit later um today about 5 to 7 p.m after that looks like we are going to get some rain up here in northern california it's going to be a uh, back building out here across the uh, area of circulation uh providing me with a little bit of sprinkles out here i'll, I'll take it uh but after that um you know it's it's that's it uh, but it is definitely still looks like it uh, is on course for uh, providing some significant rainfall. Here is the HRRR model. Now, this is a high-resolution radar imagery. And this is what, you know, your big shots, your Reed Timmer, your National uh, Weather Center, or just a weather channel in general normally 
watches with regards to radar expected activity. Uh, this thing is headed north, obviously, into Southern California. There's going to be a lot of rainfall out here. That's a given. Most of the convective activity, meaning the thunderstorms, is going to be across the northeastern segment, uh, while the areas around the western eye wall here get uh, just some heavy duty rain. That includes Los Angeles, San Diego. This area of circulation looks like it's going to be right over the San, Di San Diego area or just east of there. So the HRR model, we can't see hours ahead, but this is the latest information here. Uh, we can go back uh, a little bit and just see what it states here. Uh, oh, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it here. Um, the other model we can check out is the NAM 3KM model. Let me make sure we got the latest uh, runtime here. And this is also an estimate of what the radar could look like come the arrival of a tropical storm, Hillary. Uh, again, most of the brunt of the rainfall, as you can see there, folks, across the eastern um, eye wall area, northeastern area of the low pressure center. That's going to be tropical storm Hillary. Uh, pressure looks like around 993, but that's going to raise, obviously, and, and deteriorate uh, as it progresses over land. It, whether it's California or, or Florida or Texas, hurricanes meet their, uh, you know, their, their resting place, so to speak, once they reach on the land here. Um, but as you can see, some heavy-duty rainfall, heavy-duty rainfall over the San Andreas Fault, Salt and Sea, Palm Springs, Ridgecrest area getting some heavy duty stuff out there in the uh, next 24 hours that is expected to head northward uh, it looks like there's a low pressure system system trying to develop right here off into northern california now that could trigger um, some moisture to pull over into northern california notice that later um, in the models here it looks like maybe some moisture wanting to hang out there in northern california we'll watch that though either way this you know this is a pretty rare event definitely a rare event and it's noteworthy to you know pay attention to the uh, warnings and whatnot there across the area of Southern California There's still uh, quite a few warnings out there take heed uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest uh, information here from windy the windy app let me pull this up here real quick stand by for a second while I get my bearings together uh, there we go uh, stay safe in hurricane season. Oh, will do. Thank you very much for uh, being concerned there, Wendy. Uh, there's a little tab up here that's got a hurricane symbol on it. That's the click. That's the area that you want to click for the latest information here with regards to uh, Hurricane Hillary. 85 miles per hour, 28.7 inches there on the barometric pressure. Uh, of course, this looks like it was at uh, 11 o'clock yesterday time frame. Uh, here's the wind gust. Of course, wind gusts are going to be, uh, you know, a little bit higher than the consistent measurement. But watch this as it heads up into Southern California. We're expecting about 52 mile per hour winds here um, in the area of Southern California, about five o'clock time frame around Temecula, Redlands area, north of San Diego. But this uh, probably be hit a little bit sooner. Uh, either way, it's definitely a little bit uh, quicker arrival than what was originally forecasted here uh, in the days past. Uh, and as we head towards 3 p.m., uh, about 6 p.m. or so, you notice the area of circulation here right around the uh, Los Angeles area, San Diego area. And this is when the brunt of the moisture is going to be kicked up here on the eastern section of the uh, tropical storm. And after that, uh, it's just going to get uh, torn up and, um, you know, move off to Nevada. Definitely, um, you know, it's, it's still something to watch pretty closely here, folks, as we look at the um, the latest data coming in. I think, I think, unfortunately, that this may come in a little bit weaker uh, than what they're stating here in terms of the wind. I still think there's going to be quite a bit of rainfall, um, but the wind, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just getting uh, torn up pretty quickly here off the uh, Gulf of... Uh, the Baja California area. We'll continue to watch that though for sure. Uh, latest, let me check out the radar here. Let me go back over here to the windy map. See what we got for rain. Uh, radar satellite, here we go. Weather radar. Uh, we did see some thunderstorms popping up here throughout Southern California. That has worked its way up north into the San Joaquin Valley, uh, north of Bakersfield area, mostly uh, here around Kalinga, southward 
areas getting uh, some decent rainfall. I mean, this is very rare to see this type of rainfall in this uh, area of California. Up here where I'm at, outside of Chico, uh, we don't really have nothing coming in yet, but we're expecting maybe something to build up here tomorrow or uh, on a Monday. Uh, but right now, uh, the brunt of the moisture, again, is south here uh, off of the Baja California area. We'll expect that uh, you know rainfall to come in. Right now, this is a little bit weaker rain bands coming in here ahead of the of the system but we'll watch for the brunt of that to come in uh, tomorrow as it makes its way northward all right uh, latest activity here look at this southern california lighting up you know i keep saying it uh, you know what if this hurricane or tropical storms triggers a big one uh, did have a 3.1 down here south of the border oh about 10 20 uh, yeah, 11 24 or so Roughly about an hour later, 3.3 up here, San Bernardino Mountain. So pressure building up here across Southern California, uh, potentially uh, with the arrival of the uh, Hurricane Hillary. We'll definitely continue to watch that. Uh, either way, this area is going to get soaked uh, literally with a bunch of rainfall. We're talking about annual, uh, annual uh, accumulation rates being reached tomorrow. So what this area sees during a normal average year is going to take place in one day tomorrow across a good portion of Southern California. So uh, goodness, that's, that's a little crazy. But what do we got here? Would you guys call that an earthquake swarm? I would. Uh, most of that activity occurring within the last couple hours near Sulphur, Sulphur Mountain area. Uh, that is a relatively shallow earthquake activity. We're looking at about 18 earthquakes of various magnitudes. Uh, with the largest one that looks to be a 2.5 earthquake here uh, within the mix there. Any type of earthquake swarming down here in Southern California, obviously something to worry about. This is a long ways away from the San Andreas Fault. Yeah, I wouldn't say a long ways, maybe 60 miles or so. Here's the plate boundary. Uh, but this activity occurring uh, within the, uh, oh man, it, I think there's a couple other faults in here. Mission View Fault, Lion Canyon Fault. Uh, you, you talk about a spider web of fault systems out here, and this is it. So elevated activity across Southern California here recently. Continue to watch that. Uh, not a whole lot going on across the Pacific Northwest. The latest activity here on the Tremor map shows 58 epicenters, Northern Cal, and also up here uh, in the Vancouver Island range. All right, real quick glance here at everything else, and then I got to call it, folks. Just uh, I'm not a big fan of staying up this late. I got a busy weekend and it's not it's not performing like I want to. <laughs> 5.2 up here in Alaska earlier this evening. Um, a little bit of activity across the Mariana Trench with a 5.4 earlier this afternoon. Uh, New Zealand did see some movement out here. Pretty deep earthquake. We're talking about a 4.8. Uh, I think we all know what's out there with the 4.8 at 206 kilometers deep. That is uh, associated with the Hikurangi subduction zone there around the Bay of Plenty. We'll watch that. You know, just letting us know, letting the folks know in New Zealand, hey, things are still alive and kicking, and it's just a matter of time. Uh, and that time is obviously um, coming up. So take the time that you have and be prepared for a, uh, you know, larger quake possibility out there. Um, there is that uh, four. Was it really 13 hours ago? Let's see here. I guess it was earlier this morning. Oh goodness, it's just been a, kind of a crazy day here today. Five, uh, three point three since then. Uh, I'm sure that earthquake showed up pretty nicely here across the earthquake drums of New Zealand. Let's check it out here real quick. Look at that. Ba boom, bada boom, bada bang. There it is. Beautiful feature. Uh, even though it's pretty deep, it showed up significantly significantly across the North Island Station. Uh, aside from that, though, things look uh, pretty calm, pretty quiet. Uh, real quick glance here at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, there in Wyoming, super volcano, quiet. I can tell you, it's quiet. I don't see anything going on there across the uh, map. Uh, let's see if we've got anything else. China going on uh, north of the Himalayas. Looks like some activity stirring up out there. Uh, but for the most part, we'll keep an eye on the West Coast here. we got some activity stirring up in a swarm fashion. And, uh, of course, with this approaching hurricane here, it's of a little concern. Uh, not only with the pressure differences out here against the plate boundaries, 
uh, but also the uh, rainfall accumulation rates that are expected uh, amongst the uh, plate boundary. You know, it's what, what happens when you throw a little bit, a little bit of lubrication there on a rusty bolt or a, a, a you know a screw. Uh, it kind of loosens up, right? Any kind, any kind of uh, stress uh, is taken away, or, or at least released when you add that lubrication onto it so we'll watch this it's, it's a little concerning i'm hoping for the best um but we'll see how these rainfall rates come out tomorrow uh let's see real quick storm prediction center there is a little slight risk out here um, in southern california you can see that in the yellow that includes areas of uh Cath cathedral city palm desert palm springs la quinta this is due to the potential of uh, isolated damaging winds for the most part. If you look at the tornado potential, there's actually a 5% chance for tornadoes. Goodness, in Southern California, that's kind of rare. Um, so, you know, any thunderstorm that does pop up there does have that forecast or that potential to produce some tornadoes out there. So heads up, Southern California. Um, we will catch you guys back out here tomorrow. Of course, we'll uh, do a latest update. Uh, in the morning when I get up <clears throat> and um, in the meantime folks I hope everyone has a good night enjoy the rest of your weekend out there and of course the live stream is up and running on the uh, live stream there Hillary live stream we'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow some or later today it's already tomorrow <laughs> have a good one folks <laughs>